If a psychiatrist puts you in a straitjacket, you're shrink-wrapped. Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Philip the Meeple on duty and as you can tell from the title of today's video, we're talking about Mini Advanced Wars by Azir Games. And it is currently running on Kickstarter, so if you want to go check it out, you can check it out. It's got about a, about a week, a little over a week left. Time has been really wonky for me. But I want to talk about this one because this is a game producer... Uh, Azir Games, that creates print-and-play, 3D, uh, 3D print-and-play, sorry, uh, game assets that look really fun. This isn't the first one of theirs I've seen, but it is the first one that I've backed. I saw their um, Adventures of Arzos, Azos, um, as well, but it just didn't have quite enough to pull me in. And this one, this one is exactly what I'm looking for. Mini Tactics Wars is a translation of the Advanced Wars onto a board game. A very simple translation of that. Everything that I've seen, he did a very nice how to play video. He's currently getting the um, rule book put together in a graphically pleasing uh way and i was really hoping to have that but he's like i just he hasn't got it yet he's had some um home issues pop up that take precedent over a campaign even while it's running so i totally get it uh per or personal issues not and nothing bad just not my place to speak on those things i just wanted to bring it up that's why he's not where he thought he would be with the rule book uh, it is complete. He does have a solid set of rules. He just needs to get it graphically pleasing for everybody to see. Um, I found this one based off of a crossover link from the game Warside, which is a video game like in the style of Advanced Wars. And I clicked on the link and I pretty much instantly hit that like, yeah, I'll for 20 bucks. Yes. Give me all those assets. It just, there was something in it that just made me go, yes, I want that. I need that on my tabletop and I will play that because simple games that bring a lot of depth to them will hook me right away. What are games that hooked you right off the bat from the start? What are those games that you just saw and went, yes, that's, that, that is something I need. Um, that, let me know down in the comments below. So why should you care about this game? Let me flip my notes over here. Why you should be watching it? Why should you care? Why you should hit that uh, uh, back button and get it? Well, it's 3D print and play, so you're not waiting until 18 months later, two years later, most of the time. Um, at the rate they've been going, it's about two years now. <laughs> um, so you're going to get it really fast. One army's already done. Uh, second army's already been unlocked, and he's got a lot of those units already mapped out. And uh, the 3D assets are already built. Um, but firstly, the terrain. This is not just you get a map and that's all you get. No, you get a Lego-esque building system that is a uh, kind of looks like pegboard but it's got uh, lego t uh, things sticking up so you can put your uh, terrain pieces on there so if something were to happen to your board while your units are all messed up the game board is still in place and when you put move your units around you're not worried about moving your terrain pieces around as well so it's uh, it looks like it's on a one inch grid uh, on that and there are many different sizes of uh, boards that you can put under there you're going to be able to build out real small boards you're going to be able to build out real build big boards that take forever 
and you're going to have a good time. The gameplay is another reason you should watch this. The turns are very much, you move all your troops, they move all their troops back and forth until there's a victory. Each unit has its own stat block. And that is going to, and the fun part about that is that, that it is its strength, is its move radius, and any special ability that it has that you need to be aware of, which is like gas. Um, and then the battle system is a simple ratio. So like, uh, I think they use uh, heavy tank to infantry. It's a five to one infantry, like, in order to take one heavy tank down, you have to use five of your, uh, five, you need to have at least five infantry, strength infantry there. Well, so you attack, you take out one tank. Those tanks are a one to five. So five tanks, they blast away five guys. And it's a simple back and forth. Um, and I like that. There's no dice. There's no cards. It's just a simple ratio battle, and that puts into the highlight, the strat the tactile strategy of this game, of how you move stuff around and uh, try and take your objectives as you need to. Um, the units, there are like 15 to 20 units in the first army, the second army, while not done, is going to have the same amount of units, and it's going to be in its own style. They are like, I think like a thousand away, maybe a little over a thousand away from unlocking two more armies. Uh, the first one is kind of your standard, um, I'd say like American, but it's not really, just kind of a standard army unit. Uh, the second one is a Japanese style. The third one is going to be a French, uh, like World War I era uh, army. And the fourth one is going to be a German army or German styled army. And they look amazing. The other really awesome part is when asked, he put out sticker page or he's going to, re he released a sticker page so you can make tokens that way. Uh, you'll print them at home, obviously. That way, you don't have to wait until you have everything printed to start going at it. You can print onto tokens, and away you go. Or print on a sticker sheet, put them on tokens, and you're on the map boards that he has. Uh, so you don't even have to build the terrain yet. You have map boards that you can use until you get that terrain built. And there's also, I do believe, standees as well. So once, like... If all you have is paper, you don't have a 3D printer, your 3D printer's broken, you're still going to get to play this game right away. Absolutely fabulous. Um, all the pictures that I've been using through this are courtesy of Azir Games and... Um, hold on, let me get this right. Abnatha Pride um, asked for some files so he could... Uh, print them and paint them and share that around and I asked if I had permission to use his and he said yes so those are where the all the pictures are coming from I look forward to getting this myself and getting it out on the table um, it's just something about it that just looks great and super appealing to me like I don't know how to describe it like it's just one of those like yes I need this game in my life. And the fun part is, is you can scale this up to many different player counts. If you want, you can do a huge battle Royale and create this big old board, which my brain is already thinking on because it just sounds fun between the modular board and the, uh, all the different units. Like it could get really intense having the ability to hold uh, checkpoints and everything like that. So I'm, I'm curious to see how this one ends up overall and uh, when the uh, Kickstarter is over where it ends because I'm really hoping they hit that uh, next checkpoint 
our next uh, stretch goal, and we get two more armies to build and differentiate, not just by paint job, but by uh, stat blocks and uh, visuals. So that's all I have. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, go, there's a description for the uh, Kickstarter down in the description below. Go click on that. Uh, it's a really, really gorgeous looking little game. So thank you guys very much. You have a wonderful day and we will talk to you later. All right. Bye. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.